uh, today we will uh, start example 5.3 in this example we will have to solve this frame shown in this figure in this figure the frame consists of three elements it has three elements one two and three and is subjected to a 15 kilo pound per inch horizontal load applied at mid length of element one here you can see a 15 kilo pound force is applied at the mid length that means at the middle of the element one is applied this is a horizontal force <coughs> node one this is node one node two and node three these are fixed nodes and the dimensions are shown in figure in uh, dimensions are also given in this figure you can see here let e modulus of elastic elasticity i moment of inertia and area is given for all elements so we have to solve this frame and find the displacements at node 4 for this we first express the applied load in the element 1 local coordinate system so uh, this is element 1 in local coordinates system you can see here this is x dash local coordinates means in which the coordinate is parallel to the element so you can see here x dash is parallel to element 1 this this is a local coordinate and x uh, y dash is perpendicular to x dash so uh, further the force is resolved into its components you can see here its y dash component and x dash component so to find out the angle what is the angle we have this perpendicular length this length is 40 foot and the base length is 20 foot so we can find this angle and resolve this 15 kilo pound force into its component so we can find uh, angle by tangent theta tangent theta is equal to base uh, base over perpendicular so we have both these values perpendicular and base perpendicular is 40 foot and base is 20 foot so i hope you can understand this figure and it's the force which is resolved into its y dash and x dash components then the next step is the free body diagrams in this diagram equivalent joint force expressed in local coordinates in this figure equivalent forces are shown you can see here that this force is divided into two and you can see that this force is divided by two and applied here similarly this force is divided by two and applied at the end so this force is producing moment 
which can be found by m is equal to pl by 8 so we have replaced the force which was acting at the middle of the element by nodal forces and moments so this is done by uh, in this figure you can see here now we have nodal forces and nodal moment so in the d figure the force is converted into its equivalent these two components have been added to find the equivalent and uh, then represented in this way now we can easily solve the problem we'll find the cos theta c stands for cos theta this is the angle of element 1 63.43 this is the angle for element 1 and s is sin theta then we will find these terms which are which will be used to find out the stiffness matrix for element 1 you know the formula that you have used in the previous examples 5.1 and 5.2 you will use these formula again you can see here this is k1 k1 means stiffness matrix for element 1 we have written only the displacements at node 4 for element 4 for element 1 you can see it has two nodes node 1 and node 4 so we have written the stiffness matrix for for node 4 only for simplification this is done for simplification and we have ignored the we have ignored the uh, stiffness matrix for node 1 because node 1 is fixed we will find out the stiffness matrix for element 3 for element 3 you can see here the angle for element 3 is 0 so cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 rest of the terms we find out the rest of the terms similarly k3 stands for stiffness matrix for element 3 and again we have done it for element uh, sorry node 4 we have found found this and we have ignored the node second node you can see here uh, it has two nodes element 3 has two nodes node 4 and node 3 so, so we have ignored the uh, components of node 3 because why we have ignored it because it is fixed so we have now written stiffness matrix for node 4 element 3 now we'll find the stiffness matrix for element 2 element 2 is oriented at angle 90 180 minus 63 this is uh, this is 63 and this is 180 minus 63 so so here it is found by cos c is cos theta and s is sin theta you can find it by angle as well by uh, you can also use this relation but the angle you can also use this angle 116.57 this is found by negating 
63.45 from 180 degree 180 degree minus 63 degree is equal to 116.57 and uh, this is now stiffness matrix for sex element 2 and we can see here it is it has only considered for for node 4 and uh, element 2 has two nodes node 4 and node 2 but node 2 is fixed so we have not considered node 2 in this expression then finally we will add uh, these local stiffness matrices into global stiffness matrix and then find these displacement these are the forces acting on the node 4 these are forces acting or at node 4 so after solving this you find these displacements and this is all these uh, these are the elemental forces and if you are asked in the exam to find the elemental forces then you will uh, do this step so this is the free body diagram of each element and these are the elemental forces in element 1 this is the elemental forces in element 3 and element 2 so this is it for example 5.3